you can be a creator or consumer if you say you need a break you need a detox for whatever reason it is that you need it but a lot of the consumers say they need a break because of all the shit they're consuming you're probably following all these people full of drama people who are just partying and going out you just get that energy through your phone you feel that energy and that's why you need a detox that's why you need a break from social media you say you need a break you take a break you come back to the same shit people constantly say this i need a little break i need a little detox but honestly they only last like a day or two and then they come back like that was your break seriously and you come back to the same shit if you really need a cleanse from social media any detox then it's time to unfollow people who are you following you're probably following people that you are gaining nothing out of they're not teaching you anything you're not learning nothing new from them it's probably a bunch of friends a bunch of family and just a bunch of random people to be honest a lot of influencers they call themselves influencers and now a lot of influencers are just out partying drinking doing the dumbest shit like they're influencing you to do that and hey if you want to go ahead and do that go ahead and do that but for me i see partying as something negative and i have my own reasons you might not see it as negative and that's fine we see negativity differently but i have my own reasons and i don't want to follow nobody that's out here partying and drinking because that's just negative energy like why would i want to see that i don't do that why the fuck would i want to see other people do that i don't so i just took them off because i don't care what you're doing on a friday night i don't care if you're out here getting drunk with your friends i don't care if you're out here escaping because you are escaping reality i mean social media is fun for me but it's not something i play around with like it's my job it's my work you know i post things with pure intention with positivity and for inspiration my outfits you know i'm giving you guys ideas makeup i'm giving you guys a tutorial on how to do your makeup on what products to use on techniques for let's talks vibes i'm out here inspiring you guys through my experiences through my feelings my thoughts i'm playing around with it like to me it's business it's work like if we're gonna talk through social media it's business, hunty. Best believe. I'm not out here trying to make friends. I'm not trying to find a lover on social media, somebody to date. I'm not trying to talk to no random people. I'm not going to invest my time and energy into that. I'm really not. If we're going to talk, it's business. That's why I unfollowed everybody. Last year, I did a whole cleanse. I was just on my I'm like strict <laughs> business. Last year, I just went through this whole thing where i was just realizing that it's just me bro ain't nobody out here supporting me like me ain't nobody out here showing up for me like me i'm helping myself out and i'm doing this and i know why i'm doing it the people i was surrounding myself with it's just everybody just had just shown me who they were in the beginning with following friends and family it wasn't such a big deal because I was never the type of person to watch somebody's stories. So I just wouldn't watch stories. Even on Snapchat, I was like, why do I even fucking have a Snapchat? Because, yeah, I post, but I don't watch nobody's stories. And you don't have to. You can have social media and just post. You don't have to watch nobody's stories. I just don't give a fuck about what the fuck you're doing. I truly do not care. I don't know how people sit there and watch everybody's stories, how you invest your time and energy. But, hey, that's your time and energy. I'm not going to do that with my time and energy. So I just wouldn't watch their stories on Instagram. But then it got to the feeds because I used to just post and get off of social media. But I started doing my research on things and I started following certain people, especially people I came across that I related to or like mentors and coaches people i really wanted to learn from i see that they're doing successful things achieving things that i want to achieve so i want to know what the fuck they're doing i want to know their ways so i can try out these ways see if it works out for me see if it helps me improve my life i just i like i want to see what the fuck they're doing on a day-to-day basis you know so i was watching their stories and then i started paying attention to their posts because They are actually posting educational stuff, stuff that are helping me out. So I'm going to see what they're posting. You know, I'm going to see how they're doing it, how they're achieving these things, what's bringing them success. I just got tired of watching so-and-so out on a Friday night having drinks with who knows who. Seeing so-and-so over here at Disneyland doing I don't fucking know what. So-and-so over here like, I don't give a fuck. I just really don't. I started on following everybody. Friends, sibling friends, p- 
people that I've known for years but don't even talk to. Like, why am I even following you? I unfollowed all family, even if we were close, because it's business, dude. It's business, and it's nothing personal. Like, if you really want to keep in touch, and if you want to hit me up and see what's up, catch up, then text me or call me. And if you don't have my phone, then we ain't that close enough. I'm not going to communicate through DMs. Like, what the fuck? What kind of shit is that? You know, I'm just, I'm not going to do that. And it was nothing personal. I don't hate them. I, it's just, it's business. It's my work, you know? And hopefully you respect it and understand it. And if you don't, that's totally fine. I didn't know what to expect from that. I'm like, fuck, do I really want to unfollow them? Mainly because I was thinking they might think it's something. They might think I'm mad at them. They might think I don't want to talk to them ever again. But I'm like, I, I need to stop thinking about them. What they're going to think. I'm thinking about me. I'm doing this for my mental health. I'm doing this for my emotional health. For me in general. I'm doing this for my success. I'm doing this to level up. I'm doing this to protect my energy. Because you get that energy through social media. Through your fucking phone. You know, I'm surrounding myself with positivity and I need to surround myself everywhere with positivity. I only want to follow positivity. No negativity. Let me tell you that I think a lot of people took it personal because a lot of family and Segun friends did not follow me. And that's where I realized those aren't real people. Because if they were, they wouldn't just unfollow me because I unfollowed them. Like they just post a post. I post because it's my job. You know what I'm saying? So they don't support me. They don't support what I do. I unfollowed, so they're going to unfollow. So I'm like, yeah, these are most definitely the peeps I did not need to follow that. I don't even need your support. I don't need your support. I don't need you showing up for me, nothing like that. And in real person, I don't even need to hang out with you or any shit like that. You know, like I'm just cutting ties with everybody. And that just, it, it, it makes you feel some type of way because you're like, damn, you know, like, they really don't support me like they probably never fucking did. But you have to accept it. Accept everything as it is. That's just how it is. So it's like, all right, I'm doing me. And look at the bright side. Look at the positive side of, of everything. I'm leveling up. This is just going to help me be better. No distractions. Don't get me wrong. I still follow some makeup artists, fashionistas, other creators that I see as creators and inspiration because they inspire me. They're actually creating beautiful things that I relate to, that I like, that fascinate me, that inspire me. You know, I still love makeup. I still love fashion. So I'm, I'm still following some peeps like that. You know what I'm saying? Social media is not, for me at least, it's not for friends and it's not for family. It's for work. Let me tell you this little something. That is exactly why, I don't know if I've mentioned this on this Talks Vibes, but that's exactly why I made an OF. Because for those people that say they really want to talk to me, they want to get to know me, if you really want my time and attention, go subscribe, hunty. Because my time and attention is not for free. And I've also had people subscribe to me and just ask me for more advice, ask me for more help. Like, sure. But it also ain't for free because that is time consuming, especially if it's like a little one on one with a certain individual. I'm happy to help. But, hunty, it's gonna cost. Shit, my knowledge, my wisdom is not for free. I'm not just gonna be DMing people, you know, those just saying, hey, you're like, no, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time to be fooling around. Either we're talking business or not, you know, and that's for all all of my dms i mean on youtube yeah i comment back to my comments and because i like engaging with you guys and on instagram on my comments under my posts but not my dms bro on nowhere not even not snapchat not like i just don't look at the i mean i look at the dms to see if it's like a brand you know a little partnership collaboration or something like that but not no little hey what are you doing let me get to know you no so if you really need a detox a cleanse from social media it's because you need a cleanse of who you are following of what you are consuming on the daily i only watch people's stories who i truly learn something from who i want to know what they're doing who really inspire me you know, because shit, if you're somebody successful, I heard making hella money, like I want to know what the fuck you're doing. 
And if you're a bum, I don't want to, I don't, I could care less what the fuck you're doing. You're obviously not doing nothing good because you out here just bumming it, making nothing out of your life. But let me tell you, yeah, you can watch all these videos. You can see all these motivational quotes, these inspirational quotes and all these things. But don't just listen to them and see them. Take action. Implement them into your life. I love just seeing inspirational quotes. I used to have post-its and, you know, my daily affirmations and stuff like that. And I see some on Instagram every day. I don't just read it once. I say it out loud. I get in front of a mirror and I say it until I believe it and, like, feel it. You just feel that energy. When you feel it, that's when it's... It's there, you know? You just feel the magic and you're like, let's fucking go. 